everybody. 5.21 a.m. <coughs> this is one of the biggest weekends of the year. It is the Wisconsin Gun Deer Opener. And it is Thursday morning. I have the next two days off. Headed over there to Wisconsin, meet my friends at the local cafe for a little, actually not a little, a big breakfast. Uh, we'll head to his farm. I'm gonna go bow hunting tonight with my friend's friend Jake. I am just gonna be filming. We've never filmed a hunt before. So we're gonna do that. Then later on the tonight, Thursday night, is the neighbor dinner, which is about, a, am guessing, a 40 year tradition with the neighbors, maybe longer. I've been going there at least 33 years and it was going on when I got there. So I'll say 40 year tradition of uh, <coughs> the neighbor dinner. And then tomorrow, most of the other party will be arriving and we will uh, prep for the hunt tomorrow, hang out with a bunch of friends, good food. And Saturday morning, Jake and I will walk into the swamp at about, geez, I don't know. We try to get in there an hour before light. I can see it's just getting dusky right now, so. I'm not sure. We'll have to talk about the hours, but it's a great time. We go sit in the swamp all day on Saturday, and I am going to be hunting big bucks because I have two already, one in Minnesota with my bull, one in Wisconsin with my bull. Um, my family needs three, so we will... Uh, Paige and David will muzzleload or hunt at our home here in Minnesota so they can shoot a buck. I'm not even sure if I can party hunt, muzzle hunt, muzzleloader. I don't know. We're going to have to find out. Um, but from this point on, I'm just trophy hunting. If we need one more, come I'll do a late season bow hunt. I may, if we need one more, do a late season muzzleloader hunt at my friend's farm in Wisconsin. So we'll see how it goes. I'll take you along on the drive. And uh, we'll, uh, this should be a great video and a great trip. So, see you on the road. All right, topped off with gas, 3.29 a gallon. Better than 3.80 in Wisconsin, that's for sure. So, <coughs> on the road, about four hour, three and a half hour drive from here. Stomping ground, Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Graduate in college here, degree in forestry, degree in business. Many, many, many years ago.
It's Thursday afternoon. We got a special gig going today. How's me, it going? me and my buddy Jake. I'm gonna be filming them. I'm already tagged tagged out. Oh, there's deer in the field already. There's four deer in the field up here. I'm gonna show you guys. There's a bunch of does up here. We're late. I think we don't care about these dolls. Let's go on bucks. Okay, we're, we're gonna get out of here because these dolls, we don't want dolls, we want bucks. Four dolls right there. So we're gonna get out of here and go set up. There's a field we walked in on that's just got a lot this fall. Got a north 
west wind. So anything that comes out of this swamp isn't going to see us. So, we're good. So, I'll keep you up to date. I'm not sure what you can see it, folks, but it's snowing out pretty good right now. Saturday's on. It's going to be pretty cool in the swamp. There's Jake right there. You'll be able to see those deer moving around the swamp. Sometimes it's tough because they blend in so well, but definitely won't be on Saturday. I think the low when Jake and I go into the swamp is like 6, and the high for the day is 18. A lot of people sighting in their guns right now. So, be a good time in the swamp, Jake and I will show you that. We get in there, if we get too cold, we just go visit each other. We're probably two, three hundred yards apart, four hundred yards apart. It's a good walk to go warm up. This year I'm going to do something I've never done before. Because it's going to be cold. I'm going to bring in some chicken noodle soup. Got two thermoses this year, one for coffee. And one for uh, chicken noodle soup. See how bad it's snowing or good it's snowing, I guess, against those pine trees over there. That's the field we saw the uh, five or four uh, does and fawns in when we walked in. So that's right the direction we walked in. We got about 10 more minutes of legal shooting time. Sun's down. Just saw those two deer in the field about 20 minutes ago. Uh, but not much else moving. There's some stuff moving in the swamp. But we'll give this a little bit more time and see what happens. But all right, so Jay just gave me the signal that we're going to wrap this up. So that's it. Starting to snow a little bit again. That's it shooting time's over so we're getting down and uh, tomorrow's kind of a relaxing day get ready for the big hunt on Saturday so no hunting tomorrow <clears throat> it'll uh, just be uh, hang out maybe go have a big breakfast and down pick up any supplies we need and then prep and prep and prep for uh, Saturday bunch of sandwiches so then we'll sit in the swamp all day unless we both shoot bucks so that's a wrap, folks. We'll uh, talk to you tomorrow in a different video. Say bye. Well, morning, everybody. We have a winter wonderland at the farm. It's going to be a fun deer season tomorrow. It's Friday morning. Temperature's about uh, 25 degrees. It's going to get colder as the day goes on. We, uh, as you saw from the previous video, uh, Jake and I tried to do uh, some filming while he bow hunted yesterday. Uh, we saw like seven deer, but there just wasn't anything, uh, no bucks to kill, so. But I'll show you the farm. It's uh, a winter wonderland out here. Still snowing, man. Check this out. Winter Wonderland, still snowing, man. It's gonna be slippery. We're gonna run into town, have a nice breakfast. We go into town every Friday, it's a tradition. And uh, go from there, so. Got some folks in here. Take you in the house, in the shack. There's David, he's one of the owners of the farm. He owns the farm. It's a beautiful farm. Look at the bucks we've killed. Buck, nice buck here. 
some of the racks over the years. Another nice buck there. So, everyone else is just kind of getting ready to go into town. So, bring you along. Some deer bed down right there. See him? Let me get up here a little bit more. Three deer, right, right there, if you can see them. Right along the side of the road. One right to the right, right there. Yep, three deer right there, all those. Pretty cool. So every deer camp has to have its resonant pyromaniac. We have Tom. Tom is our pyro guy. He's got four gallons of gas on the fire and he's trying to light it without burning his head off. Nah, he's got diesel fuel, I believe, or fuel oil, whatever the heck it is. It is a windy, cold day, folks. I don't know what the temp is, but he's getting the fire going. That's my man there. Gotta get a fire going because that's Bob's court. The founder of the farm, Bob. And that's where we sit around and straighten all life's all all of life's issues. So swamp tomorrow. Have a look at the farm. That path right there was not there before the loggers came. It was there kind of, but it was a trail. Now it's a path. That's it. All right, so we have a winter wonderland here. Snowing out. Crazy snow. Everybody's here. Two people. Two people are missing. One sick. One it's sick. A snow globe. That's what I just said. Two people. What, are you uh, yeah, I am videoing. Two people. Yep. Two people sick. Or one people we're sick. And sight steer camp. Yep. 2022. 2022. And it's snowing. Man, is it snowing? This is going to accumulate, Paul. Look at that. I know. This is, Can't this see the neighbors. This will. This will accumulate. Kevin's got the right idea. Stay in the house by the fire. There, everybody's over there hanging out, talking smart. Bob's court. We got 11 guys. One guy's sick, and one guy's not here yet, so he couldn't get out of work till late. So, got one new guy. Tony's right there. He's a new guy, newbie this year for a deer camp. That's pretty cool. So, everybody's having fun. It's got the traditional. Friday afternoon poker game going. I got a jack for the queen. Oh, I don't know for the king there. Oh, there's another jack. Like a Donafon coming out of the woods here. Going into the soybeans. First two beer of the night, or deer of the night. <laughs> All right, everybody. Sun's going down. No deer really in the field, except for those two fawns or doe and a fawn that we saw come out. Everyone's in there playing poker, talking smart about some videos. So we got the fire over here, right there. But everybody got winded out, too cold. It is howling. I don't know if you can hear it going through the trees or not, but it's howling out here. Hopefully you can hear that howling. It's going to be that way tomorrow on the swamp. But we're all excited. Eat dinner, go to bed. Get up about 3 o'clock. Start getting our head out, so heads on straight. So. so I was walking up the hill on Paul's Pass. Yeah, no, and you weren't on Paul's Pass. I wasn't quite on Paul's Pass yet. I was walking <laughs> you, up the hill, on and I was on the path. Highway, I, think. I was on the Buck path Boulevard. that's furthest Buck east Boulevard. going up the hill, which is Buck Boulevard. And I was right at that triangle point um, going up the hill, where there's a lot of brush filling in that triangle, where the two okay. paths connect going on to Paul's Pass. And I was maybe 20 yards from hitting the top of the ridge onto Paul's Pass, and I look to the right because I hear some, um, I, I hear some like running through the woods. Sure enough, 40 yards, 45 yards to the right of me, I see a doe pops out of the brush and just and, keeps and on running. Pardon me, 
and and two and a half hours before this, you saw four deer. Right oh yeah, I was there. I was my at I was at my my dad's bow stand, and I saw four okay. deer down the ridge that were running. I couldn't quite make out what they all were, but my dad's suspicion was it was a doe being followed by three bucks. And then, yeah. sure enough, when I'm walking up the hill, view. optimistic view. <laughs> but sure enough, that was the exact yeah, little guys, uh, really group of deer that really. I saw. Then second time walking, walking back. And so, 45 yards down the hill to the right of me, the doe pops out of the brush, just keeps on running, and a six point is falling on her, like right behind her, right on her ass. And then 40 right, yards from you. 40 yards, yeah. yeah. And okay. then right behind the six point was a big 10 point buck. I don't know if it was a split broad time that yeah. my dad talks about, yeah. but it might have been. Yeah. And uh, big 10 pointer, I, I was like, oh, this is my chance. You know, so I lift up my bow, but he gets in cover, and I can't really see him anymore. And then comes Which way are behind. they going? They're North? going west. They're walking. They're, they're on, running at you. No, they're going west. They're running like to the pond, essentially. So they're south, halfway down okay. the hill. So yeah. Close. They're running south. South. Right. They're, they're running going to the down pond. The hill. West. Okay. Yeah, west. Um, and so then, uh, right behind the ten pointer was the big eight, and he was just like waddling along, and I was in full camo. Waddling. Well, I was in full camo. Waddling. <laughs> He was taking his time. He was mowing yeah. He was a big body deer. Man. Oh, yeah. It, it sure looked from that yeah. picture, man. That was a big deer. And he couldn't see me because he was looking around, like, wondering what those Where other three went. were running yeah. from, you I know. And looking around, couldn't couldn't see me. And I'm like, oh, there we go. About 30 yards. He was about 30 yards, 35 yeah. yards away at this point. Wow. And you were that standing on the path? I was standing nice. right on the path. Did you take yeah. a knee or anything? No. Unbelievable. No, I didn't want to move because he yeah. was looking around. Like I didn't, I didn't know if he would pick me up. I was just curious. Yeah. And then how far did it go? Twenty yards. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, I, I, I heard him drop, and then I heard you know some ruffling around, like he was kicking his feet. And all. I don't know. Well, we were up in the tent up there. I don't know how long were we sitting there. A couple hours, two hours maybe. Yeah, so we were out there for like two hours, and then some turkeys. Came really? out there. Really? Kind of yeah. Right we were just fine. talking. We haven't seen turkeys yeah, in and then, months. I don't know. About they, ten of them or so. Yeah, they got pretty close to us, like where we could hear them and stuff, like oh, moving around. Could hear them eating. I mean, yeah. they were like, what, ten yards or less? Yeah, yeah they, were, they were pretty the close. Fridge. Really? Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> they left. And then, how long was it? Like 20 minutes? Maybe? 20 minutes later, we saw a doe walk out. And then... Right next to you on the, on the ro new road there? Yeah, yeah came yeah, out right out there. Road, yep. It was about like right where the turkeys walked out too. Yeah. And, and you then, were going to shoot it, right? Yeah, and then I was, and then we decided we were going to wait to see if a buck came out. And then, yeah, the buck came out after it. Worth the wait. And then it was kind of, it was kind of looking at us. And <laughs> I thought it was going to run away. Yeah. But then I got my gun out and I shot it. <laughs> and then, uh. We dropped right there. Right? Yeah. Oh, really? <coughs> yeah, I dropped right there. That's what nice. what, yeah. what were you shooting? Uh, 243. 243. So then what? And then about like two minutes later, uh, it was from like the big ten pointer that... came out or what? No, a <laughs> little. When you shot him? A little <laughs> spike came out about two feet away from me in and front of the tent. To shoot that. Really, a spike <laughs> came out? Yeah, I mean, I could, I could have hit him with my gun. And like with the barrel, you know, like a baseball. Yeah, and he just came out and, like, stared at us, and I was kind of laughing. Right <laughs> <away>. <laughs> You're stupid. Look at this, idiot. <laughs> was there a lot of shooting in the youth weekend? Not really, no. No, no it was no. pretty quiet. Yeah, it was just the three of us here. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, he dropped it right there, and when we got up, it still had a, you know, a bunch of the soybeans in its mouth. <laughs> so that was kind of cool. Was yeah, that so. the youth hunt? <clears throat> yeah, the yeah, youth gun hunt, yeah. Yeah, the youth okay. gun hunt, so. Yeah, it was pretty good. Oh, that was great. Nice. Then we made him drag it home to the house here all by himself. I have that on videotape. <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to go on Facebook? Fun. No, I don't think so. No. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Nice. The picture of he and his dad. Oh, cool. Good job. Oh, that's oh, so cool. Pretty nice. It's a five-pointer. Congratulations, Alex. First yeah, buck. Thank you. Yep, yeah, good job. First uh, deer. Sweet. Because I don't know if you all know, but the last. 713, a six pointer came over. It was. It's not really the ridge, but the ridge dumps in to the swamp at that point. And uh, it's a six pointer. And I'm like, oh, maybe 
maybe I'll shoot this six pointer if he comes close enough. He's 75 yards at that point. That's always the way I think, too. <laughs> yeah. And I, I've never shot, you know, a buck with my bow or crossbow. So, and uh, all of a sudden, he's like running really fast. I'm like, why is he running so fast? So I'm like, something's coming. And then he comes right, the buck that I got came right over on that little ridge and he stopped because he got like a new view you know and he just scanned for like a couple seconds and it was like really cold so like he was like you could see him like blowing stuff out of his nose hmm. and like his ears were That's up cool. and i just thought like oh like i couldn't really make out the antlers like it was definitely shooting light but it was like you know i i maybe i don't have the best sight but really i was just like oh he looks like it's like thicker antlers like i'm gonna shoot this if he gives me the chance and then he just stopped for those two seconds and then he ran right after the six pointer but he stayed like closer to the swamp's edge and then um i don't know i had a couple spots where i thought i could shoot him that were like 40 yards and i had my range finder and i ranged it like earlier but he blew past him mm -hmm. <laughs> like i didn't even try to like say anything because i knew like oh he's not gonna stop and then finally I started like freaking out and I pulled, Stop! Up, <laughs> I pulled up the crossbow and it's all fogged up the whole scope, which is why I'm swimming. It was all white out here when we There's something out. weird with what you got. I don't know. That's mm -hmm. very, it's a good, very I mean, it looks good happened. other than that when it was cold, but yeah, so I, I, to I had to blow on the scope and wipe it real quick. Oh and my he's, God. He's running and at this point he's like probably 50 yards away and he's out on the edge of the swamp. And he's coming towards the end of the pond where it kind of pinches down. And um, <clears throat> so then I have to turn because I'm a lefty and I'm set up to shoot to the right. So then I turn on the platform and my water bottle's on the platform, of course. So I'm trying not to make noise with that and like step over it. And then I'm like, oh, I have one last spot to shoot him. And, it, you know, I didn't like trim, we don't, didn't trim any branches or anything. So I didn't have like good shot that way so i was like oh i got this one little spot so i go bap and I, stop, <laughs> I stop him and he stops like a foot before my gap and i'm like oh shit and i just stayed on that gap and then the second he moved i just shot so he was kind of moving like just like he was stepping but Waddling. he just stopped for that one <laughs> step. Yeah. all these deer are wild this year. Bad, <laughs> shot, bad shot hit him like back really far like towards the hip and the hip? his legs went out it was and back, yeah. he mm, went like 10 yards spot. into the swamp and he died in like 10 seconds it was the fastest really? i've ever killed a deer yet wow you must have hit maybe a mean artery yeah or something. Right, i never right. found the arrow and really? there wasn't an exit one there's no, we did find Charlie it when we cut. took when we took the back straps off. You could see it went. Yeah, but through. we didn't have an arrow or any. Uh, so yeah, it, it went through. It, it, went, it hit something, and you know, yeah, it went through. through. It somehow. So yeah, like, he like, just yeah, died so instantly. And when I got yeah. him, it was all the blood. He yeah. instantly. Well, like, that's it. You up. must have hit that me. Yeah. 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 Uh, so my story is: first of all, you know, this has been a very good bow and gun season, youth yeah. season. So that's three mm -hmm. bucks with arrows at the sites farm, which is phenomenal. Thank you. Four. Well, but three, one, three, three, three bowl. Three bowl. And yeah. one gun. So thank you to the Paul oh, yeah. and David yeah. for allowing all us to come here and enjoy Wait, this. Wait, you hit your bowl in Illinois or, <clears throat> or Michigan? Pardon? Minnesota. 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 He's from Minnesota. He got one at home. Yeah. He's, He's a got one at home. He's so, a so I just want to thank you guys for that. That's really cool, though. It's a yeah. beautiful place, and thanks for letting us all come here and enjoy it. This farm for me for, gosh, probably 35 years, Paul. So my yeah. bowl, uh, Buck. More than that. Me and... Me and uh, Jake and Paul are out, and Paul just sends a random text. Paul's not a texter when he hunts, but all of a sudden he says, just saw a shooter buck going north or whatever you said. I don't remember. And I'm not north. I'm I'm east of him. But I just happened to look his direction a little bit, and here comes a buck looking right at me. I'm going, this is weird. <laughs> On Paul's and path. And it wasn't the same buck. That no, it wasn't was, the same. It was, no a, it was a different buck. Yeah. So I look, and here he comes. And he's going to make two decisions. He's either going to come right at me, or he's gonna go through one of those logging roads they cut that go north south. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he takes the first logging road, and now he gets on Paul's pass. He's I can't see him anymore, but I know where he's gonna come. He's gonna come right into one of my shooting lanes. It's about three feet wide, and I, I he's, he's either going in the thick brush or he's gonna walk right down this road. 
So I was able to have time to get ready and get set. Okay. Oh, so I see him. Here he comes walking right down that stupid road, man. <laughs> and I God. got a three foot wide opening. And when Susie squeezed him, I put my 30 yard pin on him and popped him right in the shoulder cool. blade. He didn't even make it to the bottom of the ridge. He probably went, I don't know, 100 yeah. yards, 150 yeah. maybe. Yeah. maybe. No blood, no blood at all. We just followed the deep, deep, heavy tracks. The, the bolt did not go through the opposite shoulder. It went through the thickest part of that shoulder blade. Wow. Anyone who's skinned Can a crossbow will do that for you. Mm -hmm. Where right. some compound. Did it break the other uh, shoulder blade? No, it, because it was such a downward trajectory. It, it went in right at the top of the shoulder and came out right down here by the rib cage. Oh, wow. It didn't even come out. It was wedged in the ribs right down here, but it, he, he, he died right away. But there wasn't an exit wound, therefore there was no blood. And then you must have sent four or five texts after you shot that deer. Did okay. you? To what? what did well, I, I don't know. Oh, you, you were you, on it too. Yeah, you because said, I've, I go back to my phone ten minutes after I texted about that buck, and you guys had texted seven or eight times, a bunch of times. Well, and here's, then here's what, I didn't even know you... And you say, I just shot one that... You didn't believe me. I you didn't said, believe you. Are you, you, are you a bullshit man? <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. What, did you really I can't, shoot one or I can't what? say what I said in the text, but it was something about he's got an effing bolt in his show, in his chest, so I think I shot one. God. Well, then I walked down, and I said, I'll be over shortly. And I fucking walked down, and I'm getting up to your stand, and there's about this much of the arrow... On Paul's pass. ...laying there. He goes, Brian! <laughs> Brian! Brian's still, I'm in, still the stand. in my stand. You're not supposed to go after him right away. You're supposed to wait a little bit, but we got him, and that was it, man. We did it good, so that's my story. I'm always jumps in. Well, good morning, everybody. Jake and I made it in the swamp. It is pitch black out here. I'll show you. I'll turn my light off. Pitch black in the swamp. The sun's not up yet, just starting. So I'm all settled in. Just waiting for stuff to start. I think it's about 6 a.m. We get in here about an hour early. I've been in here for a long time getting some stuff set up, so we'll see how the hunt goes. I'll take you along. It's a beautiful day. Alright, I forgot to tell you. It's about 18 degrees. And the wind's howling. I don't know if you can hear it going through the trees or not, but.
for some coffee. And some chicken noodle soup all warmed up and ready to go when I'm ready. I haven't even put my warm gear on yet. I left it off. Because I'm putting on the walk-in, so we'll see how the day goes. That one deer is the only one I've seen so far, but like I said, it wasn't legal shooting time, and I, and I don't know what it was. It ran by me so fast. I wouldn't have had a chance to know I got up. Somebody spoke to me. My sight's right, he's going right to Jake. We're gonna fair a shot here in just a second, I'm pretty sure. Jake's about two, three hundred yards away from me. I think he's walking right at him. I only saw him from at a distance in between trees, but he's big. If he came this way, I was gonna shoot him. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna leave this on for a second. I saw a few does. I don't know what happened to that buck. He should have been the Jake by now, so maybe he wasn't big enough. He just looked big enough when I saw him. He was at least 100 yards away in this brushy stuff. Um, I only got a two second look at him. But it sure did look like he was walking right for Jake.
hope you guys can I'm hoping you guys can see this. It just will not stop snowing. Wind is all of it. She's coming down, man. Where I live in Minnesota, it's been doing this for about five days. Just will not stop snowing. Shuffling a couple inches of snow every day. And here in Wisconsin where I am, it keeps snowing too, so. I don't know, maybe I'll get the deer on their feet. But no matter what, it's a beautiful day. We always say you can't kill them from the hunter, so. We'll be out here in the swamp trying to kill them. Number one, 9.30. All right, Jake came to visit me. We just hung out for about an hour. Jake, you gonna kill one? You bet. Jake said he's gonna kill one, so. He's off, he's going back to his stand. All right, good luck, man. morning 5.52 8 minutes earlier than yesterday I'll turn my light off and see what it's like No 
out here. Oh, I'll stick this out for a couple more hours and see what happens, but about 45 minutes into a uh, Sunday morning, no action, hardly any shooting, maybe five shots. Those deer learn pretty fast that it's gun season, man. Go lay down and don't move. To move means to die. They get smart fast. By the way, congratulations to Mark Pro. She had a beautiful buck yesterday morning right away at his camp. Well, most of you people who spend time in the woods are going to know what I mean. Get up in the morning, have a couple cups of coffee. Put all your clothes on, warm clothes, for eight degree temperatures. And you head off into the woods for a little morning sit. But about an hour and a half, two hours in, I had to declare an emergency. And don't go take care of business. Some of you woodsmen will know what I just said. The others will have to ask. Kind of brisk in eight degree temps. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Still no deer, hardly any shots. Maybe less than five. Saturday morning. Wisconsin Cedar Swamp. Again, it's weird. You don't hear any light. There's no squirrels, there's no chipmunks. Rarely even a bird chirping. Other than the owls. Kind of weird. We got maybe another 45 minutes left then. Like I said, the, the family wants to do a little drive, so we have to get out of the swamp and go do that. Then I gotta head home for another adventure. So, we'll uh, see what happens in the next 45. All right. So, uh, just as I declared in my previous video, I had to declare an emergency in the swamp. And the most of you know what I'm referring to. So I got out and took care of business. Came back and I was sitting in my stand for maybe five minutes. And I was standing up, looking around. I kind of scanned 360 in that swamp because you never know where the deer are going to come from. And I'm scanning and all of a sudden, wham, here's a buck in that snow running right at me. Uh, you know, not full bore, but he's on the move big time. He, somebody kicked him up somewhere in that swamp, or he's just hunting for does. I don't know, but he was on the move. And I don't know if he saw me or not, but I had to duck down. And when I first saw him, he's maybe 50, 60 yards away from me uh, on the move. But I had to duck down behind my little blind thing, and I, uh, I grabbed my gun. Got the safety off. I knew he was right in front of me. And I peeked up over the top, and he wasn't there. But there was a cluster of trees right you know, 40 yards from me. And I knew he had to be behind those. Um, so I knew he stopped, and I knew he was right behind them. I literally had no time to react to get the camera going. Um, I put the gun up and uh, looked over my scope, because I wasn't sure if he was going to come out of that, open, or those, that clump of trees going to the right or going to the left. I had no clue. I didn't see him go behind him. But he must have seen me. He must have seen me duck down and didn't know what I was. And it kind of stopped and was like, hey, hey, what's that? Um, so I just waited for him. And as soon as I saw his nose pop around that, uh, that uh, clump of trees, he was getting ready to go again. So he got about two strides out of that once his nose came out, uh, uh, getting to go. And I shot him right in the chest dead. He, didn't, he skidded right there. So I didn't get that one on film either. So my ultimate goal for this gun or this deer hunting season was to get one on film and I didn't. But I, yet I had one of the best seasons I've ever had. You know, a nice seven pointer, six or seven pointer in Minnesota, a 10 pointer with the bow in Wisconsin and now this beautiful A. So I'll show you the pictures of that. Sorry I didn't get on film, man. Trust me, I'm as bummed out as you guys are, but it's, it's a beautiful buck. So I'll show you a couple of pictures of that bad boy and, uh, and we'll go from there, so. Again, thanks for watching all the videos. Yeah. There you go. All right. I just shot one. He was booking through here. Something kicked him up. He's laying right here. I don't know how big he is. I had one good pop at him, so we'll 
see what he looks like. So I can eat. Uh, yeah, he's just an eight. But he was broken, so I got him right behind the front shoulder when he hit my opening. So, nice rut buck. One more down. Definitely done for the season. All right, well, that's the end of this video. My friend's from Wisconsin, a good friend, uh, had already shot his buck, so he'll help me skin and quarter that one. So, got that all done and taken care of. So, end of a great season. Uh, time to start ice fishing, I guess. I heard there's uh, five inches of ice up on a lake in northern Minnesota called Red Lake. So, I'm tired. some of my friends are going up there fishing already. Hey, hey, hey. So, but thank you very much for watching the video. It was a great hunt, great season. Uh, next year, my number one goal is to get one on camera, doggone it. I got to get that done. So, thanks again very much. I appreciate it. And if you... Uh, like the videos, please like them, subscribe, comment, uh, it'd be great. Thank you very much.